A couple of videos ago, you saw me uh, doing an oil change where I sent off my oil sample to Blackstone Laboratory. Well, I now have the results. So let's see uh, what they have to say about this old four liter engine. Shout out to Chris from Client Graphics sending me this cool sticker. And let's see what Blackstone is going to say about the Jeep XJ. So the analysis was done on this 2000 Jeep Cherokee with over 175,000 miles on it. It's got the four liter straight six. And um, this Jeep was pulled out of the woods for a few hundred dollars. And if you want to go back on my channel and look, we've done a lot of upgrades. Look at the uh, look at the cheap Jeep episode starting with one. I think there's like 40 episodes of every little part that uh, we've had to repair or replace in order to get this thing roadworthy. It is now roadworthy and good enough to probably travel across the country. And as you see, let's see what kind of mileage we've got on this thing. 176,000. And runs like a top, no check engine light. Come on, go off airbag light. And uh, smooth idle. You can see on my previous videos everything we had to do to get it to run this good. When you check your results online, they give you an option to check if you want for them to send you some more bottles. Of course, these are free, but you only pay when you order the oil analysis. And the first time they sent me some stickers, but this time they okay, did not. Okay, so this send is what stickers. the report so, looks like. Let's go see what the. Uh, it's got a lab number, report date, um, uh, what kind of vehicle it is, Jeep Cherokee. You can see that it's a uh, Jeep four liter inline six cylinder. It's uh, conventional 10W30, and this particular oil that was sampled had about 3,500 miles on it. And what the report, uh, they give you a little comment section, which is kind of cool. So even if you don't know how to interpret all this, for example, your, your Jeep looks good in this first report. Wear metals match up really well with universal averages for this type of engine. And those averages show typical wear after about 4,000 miles of oil use. This oil was in place for a slightly shorter run because it was 3,500 miles. So it's nice to see wear metals so close to average levels. There aren't any internal problems to report. That's good. Uh, based on this data, and we didn't find any water or coolant to note. Fuel is present at 0.8%, which is hardly enough to cause or show trouble. The viscosity is low and didn't bother anything we can see. This is a nice first report. So the viscosity is a little bit low, for, uh, but it, it was cheap uh, Haviland oil. It is not Supertech oil. I used Haviland conventional. Okay, so the way that this works, it's got your... Um, uh, your date and your data samples on here. Now this is uh, unit average, uh, unit or location averages. This is the average if I were to keep sending it in. This is not the average of what they see. The universal averages are over here. So um, the aluminum, iron, uh, chromium, lead, tin, uh, all this is like wear items. And when you get down to the um, molybdenum, uh, molybdenum, I think is how you say it. Um, it has 135. This is actually the reason that's high. This is the detergents and the and the anti wear additives that are in the um, uh, the oil itself. Same thing with calcium, uh, magnesium, phosphorus, zinc, and barium. And so, um, if you compare it to the universal averages, then according to this, that it's a okay. And it has a few uh, testing points. They tested the viscosity um, and, uh, and the flash point of the oil. They wanted to see if there was any water or antifreeze in it. So therefore, I do not have any leaking head gaskets or anything like that. So this is a really, really neat way to uh, check the health of your motor. So I'm going to do this on my other Jeep Cherokee, and I'm going to do it on my F-150. I'm not going to do it on the JK because it doesn't have very many miles on it. So um, hopefully this helps you make an informed decision. This might um, help you determine whether or not you need an engine rebuild or not. I think they also do transmissions too, diesel and uh, some other type of fluid. So go to their website at uh, Black, Blackstone Oil Laboratories and check out what they got. Thanks. Have a great weekend.